a doctor or medical professional before participating in any activities offered by Chronically Awesome. Never rely on our content in place of seeking professional medical advice. By using this video, you agree that you are voluntarily using or acting upon our content. You also agree that, say, where Chronically Awesome is at fault, your use of or acting upon the content is at your own risk, including, but not limited to, all risk to yourself of harm, injury or illness, and in particular, any harm, injury or illness resulting from overexertion or exacerbation of any medical conditions caused by the use of the content. Always remember that if you experience pain while using or acting upon our content, stop and consult your doctor or medical professional. Always warm up before a class and warm down after. You do not need to complete an entire class. You can always start with a short section and build up to completing a full class over time. Pace yourself and listen to your body. Most of all, have fun. Exercise should be empowering and make you feel good. If it's not fun, try a different style of class until you find something you enjoy. Hi, it's Faye from Chronically Awesome. Welcome to bar. For this class, we're going to start warming up with outer support. Later on, you will need a bar, so grab something like your chair or kitchen top to get ready once we've warmed up the body. See you at the bar. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna take a nice breath in as we bring our arms up to Demi Bra and out down to Bra Bar. Bringing it in and out. Bring it in and out. Beautiful, good. Deep breath in and out. Lovely, last one. In and out. Let's go with our feet. Little march and breathe out. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Lifting up and down. Good, breathing in and out. Let's put our hands on our hips and lift those knees a little bit higher, good. So we've taken on nice energizing breaths to begin our workout today. Lift those knees a little higher if you can. Good, bring your arms out to second position. Fantastic, so nice long arms and lifted. Fantastic, let's take eight more marches. That's six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna take some toe taps. Place your hands behind your back. Good, lift those toes up toward the bottom. Super, just eight, seven, six, five, three, two, and one. Bring those arms out and across the body. Fantastic. Good, so keep your arms nice and lifted. Good, just raising that heart rate a little before we get started. Fantastic. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to plie tap. Good, a little bit of a side stretch here. Fantastic. Eight, four, three, two and one, twist, good. You can either keep your hands on your hips, add an arm at me, twisting for the obliques here, three, two and one, push that bottom back now, good. Send that tailbone away, draw the tummy in, four, three, two and one, from the top and twist. And down, back to your twists. Good. Up, lengthen, twist, push back to your twist. Last time. Up, lengthen, twist, push back to your twist. Very nice. Knees turned out, shoulders on top of hips. We're going to take our pulses here. Good. And pulse. Three, two, and one, very good, so stretch, plie, knees over the toes, lovely, lengthen out to the crown of your head, four, three, two, and one, good, if you can, take the releve here with me, squeeze the glutes, 
Make sure you haven't stuck your bottom out. Four, three, two, and one. Take a balance up on the balls of our feet. Arms a second if you can. Lovely. Right, that core stability for four, three, and two, one. Release, good. Heel toe those feet together. I'm gonna warm up those metatarsals now. Good. So, ball of the foot, full point, ball of the foot, and down. Demi, full, demi, down. Good. Demi, full, demi, down. Lovely. Very nice. Four more. Twice more. Last one. Very nice. Bite a little bit wider again. Toes are facing forward for your squats. Good. So really drive that pelvis forward each time you recover. Heels are taking the weight of your body right now, okay? So really push that tailbone back. Very nice. Take eight and seven. Good. Arms here if you can, otherwise on your hips. Four. That's three, and two, one. Hold it here. Just check your weight is in your heels by lifting your toes up off the mat. Super, bring those toes back down to the floor. Can you feel the difference? Okay, good. If you can, I'm gonna pulse it here. Four, and three, two, and one. Recover. Looking good, side stretches. Other side, good. Shoulders stacked across each other here, good. Keep your chest nice and open. Draw that tummy in. Four, three, two, and one. Soften the knees for our twists. Lovely twists, good. Keep your hips facing forward. So the twist is coming from the top line. Good. Use your eyes. Look far out as you can. Beautiful. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Good. Take a shoulder rotation back and forward. So we're here at our bar. Use anything that you have around the house as your support. So a uh, back of a chair works really well, or a kitchen top whatever is nice and sturdy and works for you. We're standing here with our feet in first position, so that's your heels together and legs turned out, feet at 10 to two. The arm which is closest to your support is your bar arm, and you're going to place that just slightly in front of your torso, and that really helps with your posture, so that's quite important. Okay, so don't have it behind you, because you'll end up splaying that ribcage and throwing your posture right off. You won't get the benefits at all. So just in front of the body is absolutely great. Place the other arm on your hip for now, and that helps stabilize your hips. Fantastic, draw your shoulders down. Lengthen out of the crown of your head, elongating that spine. Great, just check your rib cage is knitted together. Lovely, and pull your tummy button in, hugging the inner spine. Great, we're gonna take eight plies here. So that's bend and stretch squeezing those inner thighs together. Good. That's four, three, two, and one. Good. Onto your demi point. Now this is bar, so we're going to squeeze our heels together. Keep that, those heels together as you plie and stretch. Good. Plie, stretch, press, squeeze, so earlier we talked a little bit about posture, same goes here. Shoulders are stacked on top of the hips, so we don't have any bottom sticking out. Fantastic, good. Take two more, and last one, hold it here. So we'll pulse, two, three, four, feel that bar burn. Very good, and we have eight, seven, six, that's four, three, 
two and one more going to plie squeeze good shoulders stacked on top of hips fantastic that three and two last one and hold it here this time we're going to move that pelvis away from the bar towards away towards good so we're using the obliques here firing up those quads as well looking good a bit faster that's four and three and two and one squeeze and stretch release looking good we're going to stretch out those quads now so turn towards your bar two hands on the bar lift one foot up toward the plate stretching out the quads release that leg and switch over drive that pelvis forward good knees together if you can and release take a little step backwards lift your right foot and place it on top of the left thigh send your tailbone way into crossover stretch releasing those glutes lower back nice deep breaths here keep your spine long super three two one switching over to your left leg and tailbone send away we sit into that stretch good three two and one release good we're going to turn back to the bar and face the uh, side, one hand on the bar, and we're going to repeat that section again. Okay, so onto your dummy point, squeezing the heels together. This time I'm going to add an arm, which you can throw in if you like, or if you prefer, just keep your hand on your hip, okay? We'll plie and stretch, plie, stretch, good, squeeze, knees over toes, four, and three, chest open last one we'll hold it here for our pulse three two one we'll repeat three and two and one from the top plie squeeze good so sliding down and up that wall remember good great posture that's two and one, hold it here, pelvis out, and in, out, and in, good, out, and in, out, and in, good, squeeze, good, feel those obliques, double speed, off we go, one, and two, three, and four, five, six, let's go again, good, feel that burn, and two, and one, squeeze release fantastic let's take that stretch again so it's your thighs to begin and your crossover stretch on both legs very much deserve that good and release second leg toe to bottom drive that pelvis forward And release, cross over stretch, sending the tailbone away. Really try and imagine the breath going down to the lower back. Chain in line with spine. And we'll release onto the second side. Good. The weight here is in the heel. three two and one release very good cross your front foot over the inner side and we're going to stretch away from the bar so send your hip away from the bar and your torso your upper body is coming toward the bar so you're getting a nice side stretch here and releasing the outer glutes good and we're doing that the other side so you can turn your back to me or whichever direction you need to. It's your outside leg crossing in front of your inner leg. 
your hip away from the bar and upper body towards the bar. So you're feeling that stretch here on the outside. Good, keep your head in line with spine. Beautiful, three, two, and one, release. Shoulder rotation back and shoulder rotation forward. Fantastic. Thank you.